I'm going to show you how, uh, my name is Mark by the way, hi. I'm going to show you how to replace a screen, but um, unfortunately I'm going to show you that the screen is, has already been removed, and the way it got removed is it had a frame that was just clipped on. Here's the frame, and all I did is take a small screwdriver and pop it off on the bottom, and then slowly pulled all around it and it popped right off. Um, as you can see here, um, there's no screws holding it. Once I got it off, what I did was I, um, I then had four screws um, and one plug to remove the screen. So the four screws are located in the four corners and um, the plug itself is here on the bottom and I just have it tucked in now. It has a little piece of tape on it uh, to hold it in place, but here is the plug. So to reinstall the screen um, is what I'm gonna show you. And my screen came in the mail and I paid two day shipping and here it is. And I've matched up the part number to make sure it's the right screen. And this is going to be looking ridiculously simple. Now, the first thing is I put the screws back in place so I wouldn't lose them. So I'm taking them out now. And I do have a special small screwdriver that I bought from iFixit years ago. Um, and it works great with computers because um, it has a lot of different small size screws. So here I am and I'm taking off the next screw. Whoops, I think I just dropped it in here. Oh, found it, very good. This is a magnetic screwdriver, but sometimes it's not that easy anyway. And here's the next screw. And here's the final screw. Again, they were holding the frame, the, the original one in place, but I took it off. So now, to finish the job, first thing we need to do is take this and plug this plug back in. And basically, it just pulled right out. And I'm just going to slide it back in, like so. You'll hear a slight click and there's tape on it. So now this is back in and at this point, except for the fact I'm dirtying the screen a little bit from touching it, um, you could see it kind of just pops right back in place here. Now I'm going to take the screwdriver and I'm just going to screw it back in place again. Make sure it's lined up properly. And this room is a little darker than it should be. But for now, I guess it's good enough. So again, you want to note where you took the screws out. And because there's two screw holes here for some reason. And you want to screw it back in. And I'm having a little trouble lining it up like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the screen lie down a little bit here, like so. And I'm going to hold it. And I think once we get the first screw lined up, the rest of it will hold pretty well. But for now, it's moving around on me. So I'm going to try again to get this lined up. And I'm screwing it in. And got the first screw in. Now I'm gonna work to get the second screw in. Cut that one in. 
Now that it's holding in place, I'm going to turn it back a little. And I'm going to look to put the two bottom screws in. And it's going to be a lot easier to do that now because it's already lined up perfectly. There's the bottom screw. Now my only other little problem here is I got to find the other screw. And I think I just heard it go plop here. And here it is. So, probably a better idea if I uh, hold on to the screws in a little safer manner. So there's the last screw. Now before I put the frame on, I'm going to turn on the computer and make sure I see something. And... I don't know if you could see that. The screen looks like it flashed and went off. So I'm going to plug this in because my guess is the battery died on me. So here's the plug. And now I'm going to turn the screen on again. And there it goes. Let's see if I did it right and it's working. So unfortunately I actually paused this video and uh, I'm editing it because I didn't put this clip on properly the first time. Um, it just has to be lined up and pushed into place right there. But now it is proper. I just made sure it clicked and I put the tape back where it belonged. Um, this is the first time I'm ever changing a screen by the way. So. Now that it's back in place, at this point, I'm confident it's going to work. And I am taking the screen, and once again, I have to line it up and put the screws in. So, I am doing that again now. First screw going in here. Okay, now I got that first screw. Hopefully the rest of these stay in line and go in easier. There's the next screw. Now I have two more on the bottom. I'm going to turn it on as I'm doing this because I want to see it light up. And as you can see, it says Lenovo. And I'm pretty sure it's going to boot nicely from here. Although I turned it on and off so many times. It may go into safe mode or it may uh, want to check the, the disk for errors. But as you can see now, all four screws are in. And it's booting. And, I think in a minute you're going to see it's on. 
voila I have just replaced my first screen and then all you need to do is basically line this back up and clip it into place and it just snaps in all the way around and I have a new computer screen easy fast and didn't cost much thanks bye so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of editing on here on this video because there's a protective screen and I only noticed that because there was a number on the screen and now that I take the protective screen off there's no fingerprints there's no mess and it looks beautiful but this really didn't come with directions and that's part of the challenge because without directions there's no way you would know that there's a protective screen but there it was so now that the screen is off here's the easy part now we have this frame and the frame just clips in all the way around. So, let's see if it goes back on as easy as it came off. So, I guess I'll put the bottom in first. And it seems to be clipping in okay. Sorry, I keep, touch light go, keeps going off here. Okay, you can hear it clicking in as I press down firmly. And it's clipping in on the bottom. And now, like magic, even though I keep turning this light on and off, now I turn it on, and now I have a beautiful brand new screen. That is working absolutely lovely. Just checking to make sure it's all in. It's all in. And I have a beautiful new screen. And the computer that was going in the garbage is now perfect. So sorry for all the edits, but I wanted to show it to you the right way. And we're all set. Thank you, and have a good night.